guys, so I'm finally back with a video. It's been so long and I've really missed getting packages in the mail and I really miss have really missed making videos. Um so I'm in the middle of exams right now. My last exam is on Monday. So once I'm done that, I will have three days of break and hopefully be able to do stuff in those three days. Um so as you can see I got a package today, it's from DVD Heaven, um also known as Key Town for You. And this package is actually really beat up as you can see. And it's actually been opened by customs, and I have no idea why. You can see there's like holes and like abrasions all over the box. And I have no idea why. None of my packages have ever been opened by customs before. Um, and same with like, and it's like, there's not even expensive items in here, so I don't know why they opened it. Um, I've been having really weird instances in my mail recently, so I really hope nothing's wrong inside. So, yeah, let's just hope for the best. Pretty sure they didn't touch anything. But the only reason why I'm worried is because last time I got a trade in the I got a trade in the mail and it was just in a little envelope, but the envelope was completely ripped open, like open like cut. It wasn't ripped, but it was like nicely cut open, and there's like a hole on the side. And I am it's actually a miracle that like all my items came in one piece without getting lost because the envelope was legitimately open. Like I didn't even have to open it with anything else. So that's why I'm really worried that something might have happened. Okay. Okay, I was just like, what? Oh, okay. So, okay, looks like everything is okay. Hopefully. Alright, so opening it up. Okay. Cool, okay. So, is this everything? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think you're safe. I was getting so worried. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, taking that out of the way. So as you can see what I got in the mail, and I got a free 8 Nalan card, that is so cute! Nalan's my bias, perfect! Let's just play on the back. That's really cute, it's like a little message card. Um, okay, so what I got in the mail today was something you probably didn't expect. I got Hong Jin Young's first mini album, Life Note. And believe it or not, I actually like listening to Trot, well I like listening to Hong Jin Young. And her voice is really really nice, and I really like her song, so... I decided to pick up her first mini album because like I actually like all the tracks like Boogeyman, um, Love Battery, uh, what's that one? Cheer Up. That one's actually a really nice song. So I really like them so I decided to pick it up. You need variety in class, you know? And of course I finally got A Pink's Pink Love. This is long overdue, I know. I just, it came out around Christmas time and you know, I had to do Christmas shopping, so I really couldn't afford to buy it. So, now I did, and yay, I'm super excited. So, I don't know which one to start off with. Um, I think I'm going to start off with Jin Young, Jin Young's album. Okay, so, here is the album itself. As you can see, it's very pretty. She looks gorgeous. Um, it's just like a little hardcover booklet. I'm going to open it up so I can get the glare out of the way. Neat. Hopefully I don't damage anything. Yay, okay. So there's no more glare, you can see it so much better now. Okay, so as you can see it's a matte cover. On the spine the um the writing is kind of like what's that word I'm thinking of? Uh incon I don't know. Okay. Um but as you can see it says Hong Jin Young, first mini album, your focus. Okay, so Hong Jin Young first mini album Life Note. And at the back you have the track list and her on the side. Very, very pretty as you can see. There's a total of five tracks plus one instrumental. Alright, and here's the other side. Look at that. It's a really it's a nice size, actually. It's a really nice size in my opinion. Okay, so clearly there's not a lot of unboxing on YouTube just because um, you know, for a lot of the YouTubers they are teens and they don't listen to Trot typically or they don't, you know, purchase it. But I do, because, well, I don't know, <laughs> just like that. Um, but yeah, her songs make me super duper happy, so I picked it up. Anyway, so opening it up like this. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so there's a little standy that comes up right when you open it. And it's actually so cute. It's her holding a little teddy bear. It's a little speechful. I'm not too sure what this says. I'm practicing um, speaking, uh, not speaking, uh, reading Hangul, but... I don't have I don't do like formal lessons so I'm I kinda just go from like what I pick up every now and then. But yeah, that's actually really cute I like that. And there's a checklist again. Which way is the book open? 
Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so the first page is super duper thick. Heads up. And when you open up the first page, oh, I want to be careful with the spine. We have a picture of her here. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh. And then more pictures. Oh, these are actually. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh. Uh, she's so cute. Okay. Oh, here's a picture from Love Battery. Sat on your fat tatty. Fat tatty. So like there's some uh, more recent and then older photos of her, which is actually ni really nice because like a lot of these tracks were released back then when she first debuted. These pictures are actually so pretty though. This one's from Boogeyman, I know that. Watched the music videos a couple times. Oh, so cute. Is this like a little timeline or something? Uh, it's like I think it might be like some sort of timeline or just a random film strip of different t pictures from different eras. <laughs> ah, so cute. I think this is from the, yeah, this is like mainly from the filming of Cheer Up. Oh. And then the last picture is really cute. It's so flowery and pink. And then credits. And then the end. That's the note. There we go. And here's the CD. Oh, that's actually a really cute, simple design. I like that. Really plain back. Here's the actual CD. Yeah. So that's it for this CD. Um, it's really simple, but I really enjoy it personally. Um, um, I do recommend you guys go check out her music. It's a nice change. Um, the reason why I listen to like ballad and trot every now and then is because I like a change. I also listen to rap too. Like, pop is always fun, and I'm always gonna support pop, but like, it's every now and then it's good to listen to different genres. Um, like, I listen to indie sometimes, I listen to trot, ballads, rap, you know, it's just, you gotta experiment, you know? So, yeah, that's it for this unboxing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!